Hello and welcome to Keith at Clint's. In this series I'm going to show you various things but today I'm going to show you how to change a lathe chuck, take it off and put it back on again. Seems simple but uh, there is correct procedure to do it because so what I'm going to do today is to show you how to change it without damaging the lathe bed which is very, very important to protect. So mm. here we go. This is the lathe and we're looking at here a, uh, it's a four and a half inch uh, Boxford centre lathe and it's got about 31 inch between centres. So let's have a look at the chuck. This is a typical workshop by the way, uh, typical home workshop. I, I do most of my prototyping here and uh, there's not a lot of room to move around. Home workshops are usually found in sheds, garages and some have got more room than others. So it, you know we've got restrictions. So first of all, let's have a look at the chuck. And here we are. So the first thing to do is to protect the lathe bed. Let me get this lined up. Yes, there we go. We get protect the lathe bed with a piece of wood designed to fit over the slides, like so. <coughs> Here. On this particular machine, there is what they call a spindle lock button. So you press it, and if you turn the spindle, you, did, you hear it lock, but you can feel it lock in. Uh, and that's what you want to do. And then take the chuck key, slide in position into one of the chuck jaws, and then brief, uh, quickly just well, firmly, I should say, just give it a tap and it moved so that released it. Okay, so then here we go. Turn the chuck key off. Turn the, the chuck. What I mean to say, take the chuck key out first, and then turn the, uh, the chuck. Right, and be careful that it doesn't slip. Out because they're quite heavy these chucks then you can place it on there okay so that's safely removed you can then take this chuck and put it wherever you want it so the procedure we've got now for um, putting the chuck on is, is much the same in reverse you still need to use this but then you have to make sure that the spindle is clean on the thread there. So this can usually be achieved by uh, just wiping round the surface with a clean cloth. This might not look very really clean but it's just the colour. <coughs> it's adequately lubricated. Got some oil in it, but if it hasn't got any any lubrication, a little drop of oil doesn't go amiss. Not too much. Then taking the um, the chuck, placing it on there, and you know you can move it up and down if you want to get a better position. So there we are. Raise the chuck key, the chuck up to the, offer it to the. The spindle thread. Turn it round. Remember, we've got the spindle lock here. Now it's turned, and the spindle lock now is not in position. So we have to turn the chuck, keeping your thumb on the spindle lock until you feel it lock, it's locked into position position. Then I'll put a little bit more light on the subject. Here we go. Put the chuck key in there and then firmly turn it. And that's in position. You can check it further by doing it this way. And Oops. 
the steer it, the spit, the spindle lots not in position. There it is now. Uh, and then you can just turn. that's good enough. That will lock it. So to unlock it again, firm press. That enables it to undo. There it is, once again, locked in position. So, take the chuck key. It's always essential to move the chuck key away from the chuck and not leave it in position in the chuck because it can be very, very dangerous. I know, I've seen many accidents happen by some students, they leave the key in, forget about it, move something else, and when they come back, they switch the lathe on, like this, and of course the chuck key flies out. It can be a lot of damage caused that way. Um, so there we go. Uh, <coughs> what I want to do is to just see if I can show you what happens. This lathe has been used in a in a, a school, and sometimes the they don't get adequate instruction, and so students don't seem to care. If they don't use this piece of wood, this is what can happen. I'm trying to show you the damage what can be done on the lathe bed. And this, uh, can you see that mark there? It's took a chunk out of the lathe bed. Okay. Um, in this case, it's not too serious as it as it happens because <coughs> it, it's on a V bed, and the saddle doesn't go over it. Um, what happens is that the the uh, tail stop there. Uh, is got the V groove there, the V the V slide there. It's on that piece there. So we never use that up there. So we're fortunate. Um, I got the lathe in this uh, uh, condition, so um, I don't hold me hands up for anything. It was done before I got it. Okay. So that's the way to safely move the uh, remove the chuck and put it back on again. Uh, why would you want to do that? Well, normally you will take a chuck off and to put another one on, which I'll show you that in another one of my CDs. Okay, thanks for watching, and if you um, if you like this and what you see, um, give us a like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. So until next time, I'll see you again. Bye. Happy turning.